Hey everyone, welcome to Flying Wheels and flipping $400 into a Ferrari. Today is going to be a fun day because we're making some progress. We're making some headway towards the Ferrari and I'm super excited. Don't mind all the wind, it is freezing cold. It's almost May and it is ice cold out. It's actually, I think, snowing a little bit. Today, we're at a dealer auction with $12,000 to spend. But not only that, there's a lot to this video. I have an update on a dud that I bought a few weeks ago and also an update on a green Jeep Wrangler that I purchased towards our Ferrari flip. So there's a whole bunch in today's video. Let's get started. So we're at the auction today. It is ice, ice cold. It's freaking freezing and it's gonna be May this week. So I have $12,000 to spend towards my Ferrari flip. Let's see what we can come up with. Right off the bat, we got a Corvette here and a Corvette there. Even that C5 Corvette back there is going to be crazy money because for some reason, everything is worth more than it should be right now. So the auction prices are through the roof. Spring has sprung kind of, and everyone has a little bit of money and they're looking for some enjoyment and they're spending it. Especially the dealers. The dealers are way overspending on everything. It's insane. We're paying as much at the auction as you would buy it from us. It's a really, really weird dynamic that's going on right now and not all of it's explainable. If you wanna know what's going on, I do have a video about that that you can check out why prices are so high. Right there, 03 Chevy Corvette, 84,000 miles, automatic. It's gonna be, in a regular market, that's a twelve dollars to $13,000 car, it's gonna be $16,000. So it's not even in my price range, which is weird because it's an old Corvette now. 07 with 60,000 miles, forget about it. What should be 16, 17 grand, this will be in the 20s right now. Now I do really well with Jeep Wranglers and Chevy pickups, new body style, oh my goodness, it's so cool. With new body style Chevy pickups. So I'm gonna look for like maybe Jeep Wranglers or Chevy pickups, something like this right here, unlimited 07 to 14-ish is usually under 20 grand. I do well with Jeep Wranglers under 20 grand. Over that, I tend to find that they get to be too expensive for people. Ooh, and this one's rough. 2012 with 58,000 miles. That's a hard 58,000 miles. Let's stay away from this one. Ooh, what do I spy over here? 17 Grand Sport? Yeah, this is a 17 Grand Sport with 3,800 miles. Oh man, this is gonna be so much money. But this thing's gonna be so much money and the market's hot right now. I don't know if it's worth spending the money. Look at those lines. Oh my goodness, unreal. I don't know, I'm not buying stuff like this right now. It's, they're just too much money. I do have something for you though. Wanna know what a $100,000 truck looks like? This is a 2021 Ram TRX. This is a supercharged 6.2 liter V8. This thing is a $100,000 truck, which is insane because it's a truck. Bilstein shocks, supercharged V8. This thing is crazy. What do we have here? I spy a TBSS. That is an 07 Trailblazer SS, 155,000 miles. I actually saw this thing coming in and it had a little bit of a rumble to it. I wonder if it has a cam. Dang, it's locked so I can't even find out. These things right here are my bread and butter. This is a 14 Silverado, 169,000 miles. I do really, really well with these. <sighs> They're, they're new body style. I can sell them under 20 grand, so you have to get them with high mileage because, oh, by the way, what do you think of my Canadian tuxedo? Jean and Jean, my, I went against my wife's advisory of not wearing jeans on jeans, and somebody commented on my Canadian tuxedo, so. Word of the wise, no, don't wear jeans on jeans. So these things, new body style, you gotta buy them with higher mileage to get under 20 grand, but I do well with them for that reason. It's like an affordable new body style truck. Z71. Let's see if it starts. Mm, does that check engine light go away? Let's see. Check engine light on and I didn't bring my scan tool. So here's the thing about buying cars in April. It's the end of tax season. So the people that need the money, they spent it already because they filed early. They couldn't wait to get those checks. And then most of the time it's spent before they even get the checks. And then the people that don't really need the money file late. And then there's really no sense of urgency to spend their money, so they're not really spending it. So everything's volatile, and there's more to it than that. Dealers are out of stock, so people are still buying, and then dealers are out of stock, so then they come to the auction, they overpay to replenish their inventory. It happens every single year, and then guess what? Then you overpay as a dealer, 
And then when the demand stops, you're stuck with overpriced inventory. So I really have to be cautious about what I'm buying because I don't want to be stuck with overpriced inventory right now. Here's a 15 Wrangler Sahara, color match fenders, 160,000 miles. In 15 now we have the newer interior and the 3.6 liter, which means we have the better engine, the better interior, in a newer kind of body style. It is a standard transmission and I have so many Jeep Wranglers with standard transmissions. I like to get the Unlimiteds and Automatic because they're more of a family car, but we have heated seats, we have leather, premium soft top in the back, that's unreal, that's awesome. That's like a $1,800 top right there. Okay, this is still gonna be over 12 grand though, so let's keep looking. Oh, this is cool. This is a 57 panel wagon, so this was a uh, wagon truck that they used to use in the 50s. No doors, so it's pop lock. Hope your battery never dies. 350 small block. This is neat. It's cool stuff at the auction. I love the spring and summer. Everybody starts bringing their toys out. Here, question for all you guys and gals out there. Here we have a 73 T-Bird with a 429 motor. This thing is rough though. It looks like they hand painted the trim panels and the roof. It looks like it's hand painted. Interior, not so bad. Oh, wait, never mind. I take that back. That's pretty ugly. Let's see if it starts. No pump. Oh, battery's dead. Gigantic back seats with the old buckle seat belts. They say GM on them, which is weird because this is a Ford product. This thing is a little too rough for me. I love cool old cars, but this is just an old car, not really a cool car. Question is, do I bid on it? Or do I stay far away? And if I do bid on it, what is this thing worth? Hey, pardon the interruption. You may notice the sun behind me, the sandals on my feet. That is because I am in Orlando, Florida. This is a sneak preview to next week's video. I am at Mannheim, Central Florida, and I'm going to take you guys with me. We're going to see what's up at the auctions in Orlando this week. So make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for next week's video because we're going to have a lot of fun here. Also, you may notice the background is blurry. That's because I got a new camera with better quality. Thank you to Ridge Wallets. So I've been getting some brand partners lately that have been helping pay for new cameras, new editing, so you'll notice my editing is better. Ridge Wallet is this week's sponsor, and I'm gonna do a giveaway. So this wallet right here, you'll see, see if I can do it with one hand. I push right here, and the card pops up. One hand is tough. If I push right here, the card pops up. This wallet is lifetime warrantied, holds 12 cards, plus your cash, they have over 30 styles to choose from. This one is the carbon fiber one. I like it because it's thin. I keep them in my front pocket, especially when I travel. I'm not sitting left-sided with my butt cheek all up in the air because I have such a thick wallet. 12 cards and my money, front pocket, nice and easy. I'm gonna give this one away. Pick one of your favorite videos, share it to Facebook and tag Flying Wheels in it, and we'll randomly choose somebody to send this wallet. Now I also have a 10% discount code in the description down below, so when you guys purchase these products, it actually helps support my channel so I can produce better content, better quality videos, better editing. So make sure to go check out Ridge Wallet, awesome wallet, and then stay tuned and subscribe for next week's video where I bring you to the Orlando Auto Auction. Now back with the video. Check this out. That's a 2020 S53, I think, AMG. That is a $100,000 car right there. I bet that'll get 100 today. And then we have a Z06 back that way and a really well-built gladiator. Today's an amazing day at the auction. Oh my goodness. I think I'm in love. This is a 99 Honda Prelude SH. Absolutely untouched, completely stock, factory built. Everything's factory built, no alterations, no mods, pure car, pearl white. When I was in high school, this was the car every kid wanted. This is unbelievable. What a find, oh my goodness. I want this so bad, 129,000 miles. This is gonna be so much money. And if I buy it, I'm gonna have to keep it. I want it, I want it so bad. Oh, it even has the stock exhaust. This is something I would just put in my collection if I buy it. Do I buy it or do I not buy it? I don't need it, I don't need it. We have a little bit of rust bubbling right here, typical, but guess what's behind it? Yeah, another one. This is an 01 SI. Did they make the SI? Yeah. Prelude last gen, last year sold. This is the color to have in 01 too. This is, this is the year I graduated, every kid, in high school would have wanted this car back in 01. Look at that's pretty ugly. What is going on today? This is a 79 Honda Prelude Coupe two-door, 82,000 miles. This is the first year of the Honda Prelude. 
7900 Prelude, first gen and first year sold. Oh, I just said that. West Coast car. Look at this thing, four speed. Whoa, I don't think these are worth that much and they're not that desirable, but it's still pretty neat to see. Well, that's about enough out here. I've been here for well over an hour looking at cars and my fingers are freezing, my ears hurt. Let's go inside and see what we end up with. Something about today just doesn't feel right though. I don't like these feelings. There's a lot of cool cars, a lot of money to be spent. I don't have a lot of cars in inventory, which means I have a lot of money to spend. I don't know, I'm nervous about today. Let's go see what we end up with. Oh man, look what's at the auction today. This thing, I think has Lambo doors. Somebody spent a lot of money on this thing to look. Oh, look at the steering wheel. Huh. Weirdly, I want this. I'll never be able to resell it to anybody. Who the heck wants this thing? Look at the exhaust. I want it so bad though. Let's see what it goes for. It's overheating though. Look at the doors. Auctioneer said the bot auctioneer said the seller has over hundred grand into this thing when it was new. Ooh, looky what we have here in the repo lane. Unfortunately, it is not a CTS-V, otherwise I would be all over it. But it's a CTS-4 wagon, 3.6 liter, crazy miles, 233,000. I actually have a set of Camaro SS wheels that fit this car and would look nasty on it. The stuff you find in repossessed cars. You ready for this? Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Nice. All right, auction's over. Time to move some cars around with my grandfather. How many did we get? I think I got five. So I got a Jeep Wrangler, two Jeep Wranglers, 05 Civic, 12 Camaro, and a 15 Suburban. I don't know which one's the $12,000 Ferrari flip. So today is our Ferrari flip video. I had $12,000 to spend on another car to keep rolling into our Ferrari that we hopefully get within the 12 months since we started. I don't think I bought anything for $12,000 though, so we're gonna have to pull it all out and see which one our $12,000 Ferrari flip car is. Pop, this one's for you. I think it's that black Jeep right there, which I probably overpaid for. 2012 Jeep Wrangler, 136,000 miles. I paid well over 12 grand for this thing. You can drive it out. Oh, it's an automatic, that's great. Maybe I didn't. This is a great one. The VIN matchup? Yeah. All right, this is yours. I'll meet you right outside. Nice, all right, this is a good one. Custom front and rear bumpers. We get some aftermarket wheels and Nitto tires. These are actually good tires for Jeep Wranglers. We have color matched fenders and the unlimited hardtop and a weird muscle car type of hood. Good looking out, I would have forgot about that. Hey, I'm in the 12 Wrangler. Who knows what this thing is? Let me focus on it. Who knows what this is? Hike it, high performance controller. I can tell you this thing feels pretty peppy. So I don't know what that does, but it feels like it has more power than a regular Jeep. And guess what I bought? If you remember this one, this is a 15 Wrangler with 159,000 miles, Sahara, leather, heated seats, and that premium top. I bought this one today too. All right, I spy my Ferrari flip car not this Equinox, it's this six-cylinder Camaro. 2012, 131,000 miles. I have a set of Camaro SS wheels that will fit on this car and drastically improve the appeal. Five-speed transmission, maybe a six-speed transmission, not quite sure. I paid $7,500 plus the auction fee, which is probably like 250. So I own this car for 7750. I think that's too much money for this car, to be honest with you. I wanna be at like, 5600 for this car but the market calls for what the market calls it's uh springtime toy season is in full swing i'm definitely going to put those camaro ss wheels on it and the sellability will increase now here's a thought i had twelve thousand dollars to spend i spent seventy five hundred let's just round up to eight that means i have four thousand dollars left I also have the Infiniti G35X. I'm not just gonna keep rolling into cars. I don't need three cars in this project. I'm trying to buy one car at a time. I don't have the time to invest into three different cars when I'm also running my business trying to fix, clean, and sell cars. So I have like 7750 into this one, plus the G35X, plus some cash that I'm just gonna hold until both of these sell, and then we'll roll them all into the next car. Guess what popped on 20 seconds into driving? 
that right there would be a check engine light, which means someone freaking cleared the check engine light before they ran it in the auction, so I get burned now. Now we gotta take it back to the shop and figure out what the heck it just popped on for. And that's the problem with buying cars at the auction, like Mama said. You never know what you're gonna get. You got a thousand people all trying to make money off each other, and when the sale comes first, the truth comes second. That right there would be my 15 Suburban, 144,000 miles. That is very easily a $25,000 car. Now I know what you're all gonna say. It has 150,000 miles, there's no way it's worth that much. Those things are worth an insane amount of money. That was a $70,000 truck six years ago. And it's still the new body style for the most part. The new ones came out in 21, so it's still kind of new body style. Insane value on these things. I also forgot that I bought this 14 Silverado Z71 with 169,000 miles that I paid 11,930 for. So I guess this is my $400 Ferrari flip for $12,000. And here's my final pick of the day, an 05 red Honda Civic Automatic. This, during tax time, and stimulus check time and weird crazy volatility time. This is a gold mine right here. I paid like, I don't know, a thousand bucks for it. That is a steal for that car. Well, the day is over. Our vehicles are transported. I bought a total of five today. One being that Civic back there for like a thousand bucks. The other, that Silverado for 12,000. Now I have a question for you. I'm gonna go through all the cars that I bought one more time. We got that Silverado. We got, what else did I buy? I got two more Jeep Wranglers, so we have one, two, three, four, five. I bought these two Wranglers. This is a 10 Sahara, and this is a 15 Sahara with premium top, hard top and premium top, which is the canvas and not the vinyl top. I also got this Camaro. So here's my question. This Camaro, way more fun than a 14 Silverado. 12 grand, I'll probably sell that for like 16 grand, and then I bump up my numbers for the Ferrari video, but it's not fun. I mean, who really cares about your Silverados? Or the Camaro, I can bring this thing back to life. We have some body damage down here. I got some wheels to put on it. It's, it's a six speed. That's gonna be a much more fun car for a video. So do I use that as my Ferrari video and maybe make less money, but I have a fun project? Or do I just go all in and make a more not as interesting video on the Silverado, but make more money on it and get closer to my Ferrari flip? Anyway, that's it for today. You guys, tell me, should I, should I use the Silverado or should I use the Camaro and go with it from there? I really don't know. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. I have that and some cash or I have the Silverado and no cash and the G35 is still over there, which should hopefully sell this week. For now, I hope you guys are following along with me. I hope you're enjoying it like I am. It's a good time. It's much more fun than just selling Ford Tauruses and yada, yada, whatever. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe down below. I appreciate it always. Every single one of you, I appreciate your support. Do you have any questions about my channel? Things you want to see, things you don't like, things that I can prove? Tell me what they are, because I do read your comments. And then a thumbs up is always help, because it helps boost the algorithm. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video. See you later. Adios.